Hey buddy, uh, I was gonna talk to you about the first time your mom and I ran a marathon, but your mother has been kind of critical of how I've been telling stories. So I thought I'd let her tell this story. Here you go, mommy-o. Thanks, daddy-o. Jed, when I was in college, I, um, my last semester, I decided that I wanted to run the Indy Mini, the half marathon in Indianapolis. A lot of Taylor students run it and I had never run the race. And so I thought that'd be a good challenge for myself, give me a goal to work towards. So I was training for it. And so uh, we were engaged at the time. And one day, probably in the middle of my training, Micah said that we should run a marathon together. And I actually thought he was joking. I'm pretty sure I laughed because he had never run anything. He hated running. He told me how he hated running, but he wanted to run a marathon together um, as a way to spend our first year of marriage um, together with a goal, to spend time together and to be active together. So, day before the wedding, oh boy. we're running 12 and a half miles. A little crazy, but look at those legs work. You go, girl. That's how we decided to run our first marathon together. I would have never run a marathon if it hadn't been for Micah um, because it's a lot of work, it's a lot of time, and doing it by yourself is kind of lonely. We signed up for our first marathon in Indianapolis in the fall after we got married that summer. It was about a week before our first marathon and Micah went on a missions trip to Haiti with his church. And the trips to Haiti were infamous for ruining your innards and your father was no exception. And he came back with some sort of tummy bug and we ran that marathon. Well, today's the day the Hancocks run a marathon. Woo -woo! But he also stopped at almost every porta potty and we were so far in the back that the race people were taking down the, uh, the road blocks and um, at some points, we actually weren't sure where we were supposed to be running, but we did eventually find the finish line. And in the process, I'll tell you that the coolest people in the world are in the back of, of marathons. We, um, found out a couple of people's stories. Um, we finished that marathon at a 540. Oh, it might be my time to be wrong with something. And that's how we got into marathons. Now. Fast forward a couple years, um, in 2018, you were born. And at some point I decided to make a goal for myself that after every child was born, um, we would do a marathon or I would do a marathon. Obviously the fall of 2018 uh, wouldn't have been enough time between your birthday in June and that fall. And so fall of 2019 was our first marathon after you were born. And um, we trained pushing Jed in the stroller for most of our runs, although for the long runs, I'm pretty sure his grandparents took him to have some playtime with them. But almost all of our trains were uh, pushing Jed in the stroller, swapping off between the two of us. And when the big day came, we stayed with uh, my cousin Sarah we took the train into the city that morning of the race. Currently 4.45 here in Winfield, Illinois. We were waiting in the train station. Got here early because we wanted to beat the rush. And uh, rush was beaten. <laughs> Chicago Marathon today. And we ran the race and we thought we had kept track of all the details. We thought we had our timing correct, but we made a mistake somewhere along the way. And our goal had been to run a five hour marathon. We finished Chicago with five hours, 30 seconds. And after I looked at my watch data, I realized that we had actually ran over 27 and a half miles, meaning we had run more than a mile extra just between zigzagging through the crowds and taking wide turns and everything. And I was so mad that we had worked so hard to miss our goal by 30 seconds because the race was essentially too big. And I think it was on the drive home from Chicago that day, I looked up on my phone 
the Monumental Marathon. Now we had run the Monumental uh, previously in 2016, I think. And we really liked it. It's a much smaller race in Indianapolis. And so, um, so I looked it up and it was in a month. And so I was like, we gotta sign up for this race. Like we gotta run another marathon and we need to beat our five hour mark. Um, but when I went to register, it was full. So I put our names on the wait list and I told Micah that if it's meant to be, we'll get in. Well, I think it was like a day or two later, we got the emails that we were in. And so we call it the revenge run. A month later, we went to Indianapolis to run the um, Monumental Marathon. For the last couple miles of revenge run, we did run separately. Um, and I came in about two minutes faster and I came in at a 4.38, which means we took, I took 22 minutes off my Chicago time and um, Micah took 20 minutes off his Chicago time. And who knows, maybe we've got more marathons in us. Maybe we find something new to chase, but that's an infamous story of Revenge Run and how we came to finish six marathons now. I love you, buddy. Talk to you tomorrow.